Hey guys, and this is week 10 of the Postpartum Restore, Strengthen and Trying to Conceive series. For our stretch and mobility this week, we're going to begin in an all fours position. Get down onto your knees and hands. And we're going to begin with some rolls here. So you're circling the hips round in one direction and letting that movement overflow to the rest of the spine. So we're adding in a bit of a cat and cow movement too. For three and two and one other way circle round it may feel a bit awkward going the other way but the more you practice the more natural it will feel spinal mobility is super important the spine is literally the center of the body and if we can keep that moving well over time then it can help prevent injury and just keep you moving well. Two. And one. Tuck the toes under, push back into a downward dog. Drive the chest between the arms. And alternate knee pedal. Letting the hips rotate with this movement so you feel a calf stretch, possibly a back or hamstring stretch. And we're getting those nerves moving throughout the legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up here, keep driving the chest between the arms and you're going to reach for one foot twist and back other side twist and back reach and other side if that's a bit too much you can do a rotation movement here and switch sides but as we're in that downward dog, we're also going to be working on strength and stability, hitting two things at the same time. Four, three, two, and one. And then just hold that downward dog Push out of those shoulders for three, two, one, and come down. Bring one leg in front of you, one leg behind you, so we're in a V set or a mermaid position here. Push up onto that front knee, sweep the top arm over and thrust the hips forward so you're getting a hip flexor stretch here. And then we're going to add movement. Come down, sweep to touch the other toe, up, push forward, sweep, reach, up, push forward. A few more here. Three, two, and one. Hold that stretch, breathe in and out. And come down, take that back leg and just twist it so now your kneecap is facing up. We're going to sweep our arms down to one foot and then over to the other side. 
As you come over to the opposite side, you should also feel a bit of a stretch in the groin. Sweep towards and away. As we sweep towards, we've got oblique stretching on one side, hamstring stretching on the other. Sweep. Three, two, one. Let's switch over and do the other side. Z sit or mermaid sit. Push the hips up and forward, hand overhead. Just hold it here for a few seconds to begin with. And then we'll add that movement. Sit down, reach for the back foot, up, push, down, twist, up, push. This is a really great way to mobilize those hips that can get so stiff, especially if you have a desk job like much of the population. Two, and one. Hold this last one, push the hips forward. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Come down, rotate that leg, knee facing up. Keep the torso straight or the back straight and torso upright as you reach forward, sweep across, round towards that leg. If you're struggling with range of movement or you're still getting there with your flexibility, you can do it up here. It doesn't have to be low. And as your flexibility improves, your range will improve. Two. And one. Now, bring both legs forwards in front of you. Cross one leg over, hands over to the same side. We've done this many times before. Push the hips forwards, keep that knee open, push out of that bottom shoulder and feel a stretch into the side of the body here. And breathe as you settle into this stretch. other side push open up breathe pushing the air into the sides and back of your rib cage three and two and one Come down onto your back. We're going to finish with a bit of neural mobility. So bring one leg up, hands behind the thigh, toes up. You're going to straighten and bend that knee. As you do so, you should feel a pull into the hamstring or calf area. To increase this or to Stretch the neural system a bit more. You can tuck your chin into your chest and do the same thing. Three, two, one, hold it up here. And now just pump the foot, flexing and pointing that toe. Five, four, Three, two, 
one. All right, switch over. Hands behind thigh, straighten and bend to start. Play around with foot position. You could turn the foot inwards, feeling a stretch on the outside of the lower leg. You could keep it flexed. You could point it and that will move it to the front of the ankle and do what feels, what it feels like your body needs. Two, one, hold that and flex and point that toe. Remembering to add that chin tuck if you'd like a bit more of a stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Come up from there, 10 minutes goes by really fast. That is it for our stretch and mobility for this week, which can be used as a recovery in between the more intense workouts or even after workouts to cool down even further. Check out the Belly Strong channel for loads more videos surrounding pregnancy, postpartum and preparing for pregnancy. Invite friends to join this journey with you. Like this video if you've enjoyed the stretch today and I'll see you all again soon.